Okay, the project is done, so obviously we're at the we're at the cocktail portion of the video. But since this whole thing was about wine today, I'm gonna to talk about picking a bottle of wine. If you're looking for a wine that you're not familiar with, you're at the liquor store or grocery store, just think about what it is that you like and then look at the alcohol content of the wine. I, I like a high alcohol content, not because I'm looking to get drunk as quickly as possible, but because the alcohol in the wine come from the sugars which are converted into alcohol. So the higher the alcohol content, the less sugar there is. And I prefer not to have a sweet wine. So I look for something that's like 14 and a half and above percentage of alcohol. If you're looking for something else, then you can adjust accordingly and then you'll know what kind of wine you like based on the alcohol contact. For instance, I like a Zinfandel, a California red Zinfandel. Right here at the top of my wine rack is this Sin Zin from the Alexander Valley Vineyards. They're in Sonoma. And I like this. Another good way to choose a bottle of wine is if it has an interesting label. That's another thing I like about the Zinfandels. They tend to be a little more a little more whimsical with their labels, which tells you something about who's bottling your wine. But that's not a, a given. You're not always going to end up with a good bottle of wine just because it has a good label or a nicely designed label. So look at the alcohol content, look at the label. You'll come to know the varieties that you like. There are other flavor factors that come in as well. Like is it, is it gonna be jammy? Is it gonna taste like tobacco or leather or dirt in a good way? And those are things you, you come to learn. The alcohol content won't tell you all of that information. So that's a gorgeous sound. I'll pour you one too. Kind of spicy, a little bit chocolatey, very tasty. So, I hope you enjoy a glass of wine. I hope you enjoy the wine rack made out of a motorcycle ranch. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. That'll help me out. You can subscribe to my channel, see more projects like this, see me fixing up my house, other things that I make or repair or upcycle. Follow me on social media. You'll see the links to all that down below. You'll see things there that don't end up as videos. In the meantime, thank you. Cheers.